Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be one more of those CD series where I just grab my blingo gear and I put it on someone else. Today's candidate to bring up and forth the power of blingo gear is Sigrid. We're going to test her in Wyvern first just to see like how her soul burn would do there and we're also going to go in RTA and use her as well. I'm probably going to pair her with uh, a fast Oxlots just to see how much damage she can do and then I'm going to run her on a defense break comp. Also, I'm kind of iffy about the build because she's got a bit too much speed for my liking. Why am I seeing this? I could 100% put her on these boots, and these boots give a little bit more crit chance, more attack, and uh, the crit damage goes to cap. But I do feel like I'm going to lose a lot of crit damage here, just because uh, these two boots, uh, they have a large difference in crit damage, and I'm only missing 6%, so I was like, maybe I'll just use the, the speed to actually use it better in RTA. So I'm actually going to keep that... Um, Keep this build, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Or maybe I should test the Wyvern one with the highest damage one. Maybe let's do that. Let's let's do that. <laughs> Cause why not? Let's uh, let's put the Pavel boots on for Wyvern testing because we don't need the speed there. And then we're gonna swap back to the Blingo boots, and then we're gonna be able to to use it and. Uh, in, uh, in stuff in um, in Wyvern. So I'm gonna set myself up in the Wyvern. I'm gonna set up attack buff, defense break onto the boss, and then I'm gonna use the soul burn with, uh, with Sigrid. So I'll see you then. Actually, before we start, I still have my daily summon to do, which is just gonna be a regular gold. And actually it's a five star. <laughs> hey, five star from daily. Is it a character or is it, it's just an artifact? I don't mind that. Is it a good one or a dupe that I need? That is not horrible. It's not great, but not horrible. Also, I have uh, my four to five star ticket, so I'm probably not gonna get a five star here because it would be back to back. And there we go. Uh, I still don't have her SSS, so it's still okay. And now let's move on to the Wyvern. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the setup, full damage with the damage boots, and we're gonna soul burn for the extra turn, and it's probably gonna one-shot the Wyvern, but I still wanna see it. So we have attack buff, let's see it. So that hits for 47K onto 33K and then onto an S3, that's gonna do 90k. Not with a lot of debuffs, because we actually didn't land the debuffs on the S2, because, or the S1, because we don't have any effectiveness on this build. So basically, that's the damage you can expect from this woman. <laughs> She's pretty good. So now we're gonna swap her back to speed boots, and we're gonna use her in RTA. All right, so these are the stats that we're gonna run on her, and let's go in. Here we go, we have our first opponent. All right, let's talk about the draft. I'm going to use fast ox slots with her at first because I still want to see how much damage she, actually, she can actually do just by herself with not much uh, setup, right? And then I'm going to do something else. Right, we're going to go for, he's going to go for a Rylet. I'm going to go for a good old ox Lotsu, and for a DJ Basar, or maybe do, actually she's fast enough, she's fast enough to take with Harado. So I'm actually going to go for a defense break comp with Pavel and Secret and Luluka. I think, I think that's going to work out. Honestly. Let's see it though. We have double soul burn. Actually, we have triple soul burn on this comp. We have Tiger Hells on Horado. Ooh, interesting. Are right, we gonna go for a Sigrid and Pavel? So he doesn't really know what to pick next in terms of uh, type. He's probably gonna go for fire, but if he takes fire, uh, Sigrid's gonna slurp, 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 slurp. I don't know what happened there, but I just, I just went a little bit rarted. I think so. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna go full tank, which I'm gonna go with. Oh, if you take that, you kind of make it easy for myself. I mean, this could be a really fast um, crowd, but even if he takes a turn, the immunity is not really an issue here, I think, for now. Ooh, the test is gonna be postponed. So I'm gonna skip this fight until the actual cleave phase, and then uh, we'll move on from there. Here we go, cleave phase. We didn't land many defense breaks, which is gonna basically result on us not actually winning this because if we landed defense breaks it would have been a lot easier and faster and better but i guess that's a skip right there so we're gonna go into the next fight here we go next opponent we're gonna use the same draft and hopefully it doesn't ban my cigarette all right here we go here's the draft we're gonna ban clury and they're gonna take out our ox slots which is gonna leave us without a attack buff but we still have enough souls to double soul burn here so it should not be much of an issue i think we'll see in terms of speed there is a bit of an issue and I might have to soul burn to stop that issue, right? Because it's a fast Vildred. I don't know if he has enough damage to kill everyone, but I do have a squishy water unit, so I probably have to try to deal with it. Okay, we pushed it back, which is nice. I just gotta silence it, 
which this is not going to do much. It's really just not going to do much, but hopefully it's enough. We don't have any idle shears here, so we're going to we're going to need to take that turn. Like we we we're, we're legit going to need to take a turn here. If Sigurd takes a turn and I kill SSB, I think we're okay. And I did take a turn, so it's time to see the actual damage of the person. Let's see. No crit. You guys you guys saw the crit damage, right? I mean, you saw the crit chance, right? <laughs> you saw my crit chance. It's uh it's 92%. Um and it doesn't crit in the first attack. I mean, that by the way, that would have been an easy win. We kill that, we Sashitan's push, uh, the uh, Pavel, we burn with Pavel, we win the game. <laughs> that was uh, not lucky, I guess, so let's do it again. Here we go, next opponent. Uh, we're going to pick the same draft, I believe. I don't think I can improve the draft much. I kind of wanted to use DJ Basar in there, but honestly, I kind of need the attack. If I had to choose someone, I would probably use a Rose, because the attack buff would do a lot, like a big difference. Even on that miss right there, it would have killed, right? If I manage to get an attack buffer in there, which I don't think I, I can get, but still, we're going to skip the draft and hopefully this time it's going to work out. Okay, here's the draft. I'm probably going to have to get rid of the uh, Ruana just because the extra attacks actually will heal the team. So that's going to be bad because her sever, I'm pretty sure it tr triggers because it's an extra attack. If Blingo one does it, this one should do. All right, so in here, all we have to do really is snipe the SSA and snipe the ML can. So I think it shouldn't be much of an issue, right? Maybe it is, but who knows? Actually, this, th this team comp is not very well set up. <laughs> not at all, actually, I just realized. Because if I wanna kill something now, I'm gonna struggle a little bit. Honestly, I'm gonna take her raw. I wanna see her raw damage. I wanna see how she performs. I'm gonna try to snipe this uh, SSA because then I can put defense buff and it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so it does bring her down to 50%, which again, doesn't crit, which is something that is starting to annoy me a little bit, <laughs> just because, come on, man, it's uh, 90%. Like, come on, just don't do it. Okay, it's the first time I'm using her. It's not supposed to happen so many times often. I mean, so often, there, it's not supposed to happen. All right, so it's gonna go defense buff. Actually, there's no Aureus in this. If there is, this is a very tanky boy. Uh. I kind of want to burn to give another turn, but at the same time, I think he's going to die, but I do have plenty of souls, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Also, the, my volume. <laughs> Fuck me, I forgot. All right. Does he die? He does not die because of defense buff. All right, cool. We're going to give another turn and attack off to her. I am at your command. Okay, so one more turn, I can burn with her again, which is good. I'm going to hit this Dark Corvus. <laughs> Because uh, I don't mind giving him stacks right now. I kind of want to hit the crowd though. I know the crowd is silenced. But I don't think I should hit it right now. Because I think he's going to shake it off. I don't think I have enough damage. I need to be able to defense break them. Like next. Okay, so he's dead. But I still have one more turn of attack buff. Hopefully we can defense break here. So we can actually deal some damage. Because the Ken, the Ken is going gonna, is gonna to stay there for a little bit. Until I can actually finish him off. Hopefully, when he counters, he doesn't actually kill my secret. And hopefully, he doesn't provoke my secret right now. Because that would be bad. That would be really bad. Okay, we kind of survived. It wasn't too bad. Okay, let's try to kill this Ken. See if that works. It did work. I mean, I didn't really want to go into the crowd. But I guess we went into the crowd. Okay, see, he's going to shake off the silence here. Also going to shake off the defense break, but also going to shake off his defense buff. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, he's not silent, so I actually... I don't think I can deal with him. I think he's just going to die. Yeah, I think I'm just going to die here. I don't think I can kill without attack buff here. I'm going to try, though. Wow. That is actually a lot of damage. I mean, the crowd is going to kill me. But that was a very impressive amount of damage. He was defense buffed and broken, I guess, but still, like, a half HP, a, uh, a Dark Corvus. Not bad at all, actually. I don't mind that. So now it's going to be a slap fight that I cannot win, because I think he's just going to he's gonna kill me. But hopefully I'll land defense breaks. If I actually land defense breaks consi consistently, I should be able to do this. 
even though he crit. Yeah, it's gonna it's it's gonna be impossible because I am not landing the defense breaks and he's fast enough to not get looped. So I think it's gonna be that good old G of the G. I mean I, that's a lot of damage, but it's not gonna be enough, I think. Because he's gonna get his ulti in two turns, I think. Okay, defense break. Does he have his ulti? Not one turn. Yeah, but he's gonna defense by fire. All right, it's GG. It's GG. I can't do much there. Um. I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go into the next fight and hopefully there it works. Alright, I also realized that I wasn't running her on portrait, so now I swapped the por portrait, hopefully it makes a difference. Next opponent, Sino Biox or something. <laughs> uh, we're gonna skip the draft, we're gonna pick the same things. Alright, this comp should actually be quite interesting because uh, Secret could actually deal with a Helena quite well because her single target damage is so high that she can probably just one-shot it. And it's a level 51, but still. Uh, either way, it's uh, it's probably going to be a fast one, so it doesn't really matter what level it is. Um, hopefully he starts fast. All right, all right. So that's good. Pavel has been banned, which means it's all up to Secret to carry these. Honestly, main targets for me right now are going to be DZ and... Helena, but we'll, ha we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, how this, fight. this Helena is a bit too fast, so I think this is going to be actually quite opportune. I'm going to try to silence the DZ at first. I'm not going to try to use AoE. Sure, that's, that's fine. He's, he was already going to take a turn, so that dual attack is kind of welcomed, I guess. Okay, we're going to go for this. We have six souls, which is quite, a, quite, an, quite, a, quite, a, quite an amount of souls. All right, we're going to burn into the Helena. Alright, she dies, and it goes into Krau, which I might have to get rid of Krau now, because he went into Krau, again, which is not the best, which I think I just got, I just have to kill the Krau. I guess I'll kill the Krau, <laughs> and not crit, because that's, that's what, what's happening today. <laughs> it's what's happening today, so let it happen. Um, I guess Krau just kills someone now, and it's GG. Alright guys, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, provide you with a proper uh, showcase today, uh, but luck is not on my side and uh, I'm not really just going to record this video over and over and over until it works, I'm just going to keep it at this. Uh, it was a lot of damage for Wyvern, so she has the potential, and I've seen some people build her full DPS and she does, she does a lot for the team, she really does, just does a lot because she can kill one, Go into another, like especially if you're going against a cleave, she can destroy a cleave by herself because she can she can possibly kill three units because her S1 one? just does a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.